So I'm going to ask you a question, and if I'm being presumptuous or wrong, go ahead and dislike this video and go watch something else. But you are in the crypto space in order to make life-changing money, correct? Great. Second question. In order to do that, you have to exit in profit. Am I right or am I wrong? Now here's the third question. Do you know the cost of taking profits too early? If your principal is removed from the market, the future cost of what that could have been. You might not know the money and gains that you forego by taking out your principal too early. Thankfully, I've done that research, and in today's video, I'm going to unpack different profit-taking strategies based on mathematical schematics that will allow you to experience a lot of upside by leaving your money in the market, but also rewarding yourself by taking some profit early, and exactly knowing how much to take based off different iterations that will protect your principal sum, allowing it to grow into a massive fortune, and also rewarding yourself on the way in a way that doesn't affect negatively too much your future potential earning rewards. Welcome to Money on the Move. I'm your host, Phil Yeager. I've been in cryptocurrency since before Bitcoin was $10,000. I've built a multi-million dollar e-commerce business, and I've been here the entire bear market. So please like and subscribe. A few groundkeeping items. Nothing that I say is financial advice. Consider this entertainment only. I'm just trying to impart some lessons and experience or wisdom to help you along the way. In addition to that, I have a very valuable Patreon in the description below where I post so much more information and alpha to help you along this crypto journey. Please join the Patreon. In addition to that, if you do not have a self-custody way of holding your crypto, I encourage you to get the Tangent Wallet. There is again a link in the description below. So let's dive into this video and explore what I believe to be mathematically based good profit taking strategies. Where we have to begin is just very basic boring math. Let's say your initial principle that you have in this market is $100,000 and the optimistic return that you're going to make is a 12x. Let's say the pessimistic return that you're going to make is a 3x, but the realistic return is a 5x. We need to create a weighted average to give you the best idea of what type of return you'll actually make. What I would say is to do a heavy weighted average for the realistic, add the optimistic, add the pessimistic, and take the average. In this case, that gives us 15 plus 12 plus 3. That equals 30. This formula is not just something I came up with arbitrarily. This is something that an economics professor taught me in college. So we have 30 divided by how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. So in this case, a very realistic expectation of a return to make is a 6x or 600%. But what we're trying to explore is on the growth to that 6x, when we remove money, how much does that cost us in the long run? And is there a good formula for paying ourselves on the way up that doesn't affect or damage the potential gains we could have had that much? How did I come up with the optimistic numbers or the pessimistic numbers or the realistic numbers? Well, you'll have to see my other videos that I've posted where I go into logarithmic form and look at what previous cycle returns have generated. A 6x is a pretty solid return, and if you get it, you shouldn't be greedy. So let's go with that. This isn't even the meat and potatoes of what I want to talk about today in regards to when you exit on the way up, how much does that actually cost you in the long run? or what percentage to take on the way up to reward yourself, but also maximize the potential future gains. So we know we have an initial principle of $100,000 and the goal is for it to grow to 600,000, but we wanna pay ourselves on the way up. And let's just say that we wanna take some money out every time the portfolio goes up 25%. If we have $100,000 right here and we do nothing, by the time that we get a 6X, 5.95X in this case, it's right under $600,000, okay? Nothing happens. If, though, we take out 5% for every 25% that the portfolio goes up, we're going to lose out on some money. There are a lot of numbers on a chart right now, but let me just simplify it very clearly. This, on the top half, is seven increases of 25%, which brings us to the $600,000 that we first spoke about. It's the same exact thing down here, except in this case, we are taking out 5% for every one of those 25% increases. So this is one profit-taking strategy, the pros and the cons of it. If you take out 5% for every 25% that your portfolio goes up, your 100K grows to $125,000. Down here, it's the exact same thing, but we take out 5%, which is about $6,250, meaning we have 118,750 left, whereas we had 125,000 up above. So your 100K is going to grow to $600,000. And we're breaking this down into the increments that it takes for your portfolio to get there. So your 100K grows to 125K and you reward yourself by taking out 
obviously you're not gonna make the full $600,000 because that 5% is no longer growing. Let's look at the compounded effect of that so that you can decide whether or not this strategy is right for you or we can glean it into the next strategy that I'm also gonna share with you. While leaving all of your principal in the market brings your portfolio from 100K to 600K, if you take out 5% for every 25% increase, your 100K only grows to $416,000. But you've rewarded yourself along the way and you've paid yourself 98 grand. So this is actually a very good schematic because you're doing two things. Number one, you are recovering your entire initial principal, 98,000, so 100K. You're taking it out the entire way up and you're leaving about $415,000 in the market of profit. Your total sum there is gonna be $515,000 compared to the $596,000 that you could have had if you never rewarded yourself at all and you magically timed the top and the bottoms. I personally love this strategy. What you're doing is you're rewarding yourself consistently. You get $98,000 through these increments of 25% increase along the way up and you have $415,000 of profit when you exit. So even if the market collapses, let's say right up here, and you don't get to recoup everything, you still took out 77,000 and your loss is very minimum. On paper, it's only about you know 30,000, but you still have some good money in the market. The point that I'm trying to say is that there is a great balance if you reward yourself and take out a small percentage that doesn't give you the full maximized potential because 514,000 divided by the maximum 596,000, you're still making 86% of the total returns that you could have had and you're rewarding yourself along the way. You're de-risking your portfolio so that all that you're doing is playing with house money. I love the 5% reward for every 25% that your portfolio increases. I'm gonna simplify this just one more time for you, then pivot into the next schematic. Cryptocurrency in many ways is like a casino. It is very volatile and crazy and people get wrecked. When you start with $100,000 and you have an expectation that's realistically built that you could get a 6x return, that means the max profits that you could expect are $600,000. If you reward yourself for every time that your portfolio goes up 25% and you take some money home, you will pay yourself in total that entire initial principal, 100 k based off of a nice little timeline, and you'll still walk away with $415,000 profit. You'll make 83% of what you could have made, but you're actually walking away in profit. You're taking out profits along the way, you're rewarding yourself, and you're letting your principal grow, rather than just putting all the chips in on the house, leaving it there, hoping that it goes to the 6x infinity and beyond, and that you walk away a grand slam winner, which is very unrealistic, and that's how people get wrecked. When you systematically take out 5% along the way, you recoup your entire position by the time that the market would have gotten to that 6x, and you still walk away with $415,000 profit on a 100K portfolio. These numbers work no matter how you break it down. Whether you have $1,000, whether you have $5,000, $10,000, if you reward yourself with 5% profits for every 25%, you still get great upside and you're taking money home, de-risking your position. So let's go over iteration two. And again, this is very simple, even though there's a bunch of boring, complicated numbers on a screen, it really doesn't matter. Just listen to my voice. You have $10,000, you expect a 6.15X. I tweaked this earlier. You expect basically a 6X which is gonna bring you to $60,000, in this case, 61,500, okay? That's if you don't do anything, you gamble it the whole way up. Let's say every 15% interval, you take out 3.5% instead. So, instead of getting the full 61,000 or 60,000 in this case, in this iteration of every 15% take out 3%, you're rewarding yourself a whole lot more. Your 10,000 is going to grow to 40,000 because you're removing money every time that you get an increase. Your 10,000 grows 15%, you take out 3%, that's 400 bucks, and you have a smaller principal to continue on with. You have $11,098 compared to $11,500. So you have a smaller principal that's gonna be growing by a couple hundred bucks. As you compound this, and every time that the portfolio grows 15%, you take out 3%, in total, you're gonna walk away with $50,600 instead of the 61,000 because you paid yourself $10,533 on the way up. You de-risked your entire portfolio, so the 40K that's left is just house money. You paid yourself 10,500 bucks, and so in total, you have 50,656 bucks. As a percentage, you made pretty much 82%. So almost the exact same thing, you're paying yourself more regularly, you're de-risking, but the point being here is that you are not just gambling until kingdom come. You're paying yourself on the way up in a systematic way that when you reach your 6X, you've already recouped all of your investment 
and you have 40K profit at, at the end. If you want to change this to compare it to the first one, I'll just add an extra zero here. And you can tell here, in this case, you've paid yourself 105,000 and you have 506,000 in the market compared to earlier, which was uh, you paid yourself 98,000 and you have 416,000 in the market for a total of 515,000. Now we're gonna talk about the scary math of if you take out big percentages on the way up. But before that, you can also break this down into individual positions. Let's say you have a $500 position in something and you expected to do a 6.5X to result in $3,200, $3,300. You can do this with individual positions. So you might have 20 coins in your portfolio. All of them you start off with 500 bucks, the point being is that you can break down your individual positions so that when they reach certain milestones along the way, you can slice some cream off the top and take it home. In this case, you might walk away with uh, 2,647 compared to 3,200. The iterations go on and on, but generally speaking, if you take that rule of thumb for every 25% or for every 15% that you have an increase, you remove 5% or 3%, 3.5% really, it's a good strategy. But this is where the math gets kind of scary and intimidated and why I want to caution you on removing too many profits too soon in this market cycle. Okay, $100,000, first example, we wanted to grow to $600,000, which is in this case about a 5.95x. I chose that number because it's just easier to get in the range of what we're talking about. $100,000, if we take out 15% every time on the way up, we pay ourselves $187,000, which is great. That's great money to pay yourself on the way up. The problem, though, is that your principal only grows to 191000 compared to the 596000 So when you combine your principal that's left in the market at the 6x and the 187000 that you paid yourself, you walk away with only 378000 compared to the 600000 So you're actually only getting a 60% return, 63% return of what you could have had. That's literally a difference of 596 minus 378. That's $217,000 that you missed out on because you took out too much money on the way up. So all of this is to say you have to figure out the right profit taking strategy for you. I love the first two that we went over. They're both pretty good. You're paying yourself regularly. You're rewarding yourself. You're de-risking your position and you have a big nest egg that can grow on the way up. And even if markets correct, you're still in profit and you can walk away a winner. When you take out too much, too fast, or too soon, you're leaving hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table. And I'm noticing right now that my screen was actually not included for a good segment of this. So let me just zoom out so you can actually see the numbers here. There you go. Basically, your one more time, your 100,000 only grows to 191,000 when you take out 15% for every 25% increase. Your combined is only 378,000 and you left $217,000 on the table. This is why you don't necessarily want to take out too much too fast. But let me tell you, what's worse than both of these is never paying yourself at all on the way up, watching your investment of $10,000 or $100,000 grow to $600,000 and then tank to like $300,000. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I never took any gains. I'm only walking away with what I could have had. What I'm trying to say is that this is a great little formula that does two things. You're rewarding yourself. You're taking money out. You're not being greedy. You're paying yourself and you're de-risking your situation on the way up, but you're also leaving a good principle in there to, you know, make the great gains that we've been expecting and the questions that I started off with at the start of this video. The other thing that I like to do, and maybe <clears throat> I'll make a second video on this, is leaving a little moon bag. So when your portfolio grows to, let's just say, $600,000 from $100,000 starting point, Let's say you just take out $500,000. You've walked away a winner. You've paid yourself. You've rewarded yourself with 500 k and you still have $100,000 of house money. It's de-risked. You walked away a winner already in case the market does another 2x or 3x. But this is the problem that people have in their psyche. They get too greedy. They want maximization of gains when really the essence of what we have is a very short window of time where you can multiply your wealth and level up a few categories in your status of financial well-being. So... That's my advice to you. I hope this helps you. I have to say this and it's kind of hypocritical, but this is not financial advice, even though this is my advice to you. I hope that you gleaned something beneficial and fruitful from this. You can easily make these Excel sheets on your own where you basically just, it takes 10 minutes. Start with your initial principle, go through different iterations of if it goes up this much and I take out this much, how much it affects everything, and you'll find what works for you. In the two examples that I gave you, I'm very happy with them. And what I'm actually doing, this is some golden nuggets that I'm just going to drop here. 
I said to myself, I'm going to stick with one of those first two iterations that I share with you. For every 15%, I take out 3%, or for every 25%, I take out 15%. But in my opinion, I haven't actually started doing that yet because I don't believe that the bull market for altcoins is in full rage mode yet. Maybe I will. I'll reflect on that. And if you're in my Patreon, I'll share with you the updates. But once we really get going, which we kind of are, this is maybe if anything, I'm speaking to myself now. It is time to start implementing your profit taking strategy. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like, and subscribe. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments. Join the Patreon. Get your tangible wallet. Until next time.